telling you, dude, people need to take some some tips from this guy. Best guy ever to travel with. Requires almost nothing. Except for he eats more than we do. <laughs> he really does. good woke up the waves aren't exactly what we're looking for but energy's on point scored a couple last night so semi content right now hoping that either the tide or the wind or the swell or one of these thousand variables picks up a little life out here and grab a couple good ones but should be back camping blending cooking in the dirt in the tents under the stars Not dirt. Good feeling no matter what as long as you set out on your mission with intent to enjoy the adventure then the scoring will just be extra it'll be that much better when it goes down <laughs> let's go explore let's get the ben patrick on
hiding from the wind. How did you do? More importantly, because the wind from down there is half as the wind from up here, as I'm noticing. I got out of the water. Yeah, it was... Uh... How do we not lose your body? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> we really don't know. I gotta say, there's some crazy variables. The kelp is so aggressive, and the tide got so low so quickly that the kelp got raised up and the combination between the offshore winds stopping the wave and then the kelp stopping the wave made it almost unbearable but I'm claiming that there was like a 40 minute window where it was pretty decent. The waves were breaking in the right spot with the right wind, a little bit of tide and we got a couple. I seen T-Cap do a nice backside little slash. It was two. And then he went for the, the backside the slide to foam roll. Yeah. And he almost got it. I mean, he didn't, he didn't almost get it, but the fact that TCAP is going for tricks, that's huge. That gets the stoke high. And we've been calling this place the playground for the past, I guess, like three, four times when we've come here. And there's still hope because it's like eight to 10 different waves and I've seen them all on different tides and different winds do different things. So we're grateful that we got that little morning workout in. Got one or two. We're hoping that this afternoon could bring some more. What's your hunger level? I feel like you're looking at me like you're hungry right now. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I hope it's time for lunch. <laughs> you would never think the belly on this guy. Now let's let's show what this wind is really doing. We gotta find something that flaps. Let it flap in the wind. Keep in mind, this was built by TCAP right here. Someone who knows how to survive in some of the windiest conditions that there has ever been. Hang on, Niso! Hang on! DCAP's first ever fish experience. Drop a thumbs up if you like the way DCAP looks on a fish. That's the trash cleanup off the beach. Hang on to her. I gotta say, great work on the tent. Phenomenal job. filled back in the wind has been absolutely wretched ratchet one of those two maybe the both of them but we got a small window here because well one we're in a tent and two the sun sets behind this massive hill behind us like an hour early so we lose light crazy soon and as we saw this morning the tide window seems to be around an hour long so hopefully if we get out there early we can catch that thing, we can catch a few. Maybe a quick check in on the boys to really, really see how we've been doing. With this wind, it's been, it's been windy. Legitimately sleeping. There's so much sun, I was like, oh man. It's nice in here, huh? Yeah. I'm out there. Right now? T minus 10. Right. Look at her. Starting to size up. We just missed the set. Woo! The other one. Que tal? Jimmy, Jimmy. What do you see that I don't see? That last set wave? I see it all in here. I feel it right in here. The combo. It's a guarantee. It's a guarantee cap. He's gonna get barreled tonight. Don't miss it. Whoa! What's your peak level? Peaking. Stoke? I'm at uh, four. I need to get to a ten. But... <laughs>
section. Where is he cap? There he is. Check it in. How you doing? Before we can even post surf breakdown, I gotta neck up. I gotta say, the company True Wild, who was dialing us in and helping sponsor and support the entire Nar V winter tour, as you know, they make the bangers. We have been drinking the Wild Greens on ice all day, and I am so dehydrated. I drank almost a full gallon of water today, but there is a difference between exerting yourself and just drinking water and then actually being hydrated by having the right electrolytes and the right aminos and everything. And this literally has all of it. And we're necking it in real time right now. And I cannot think of something that I need more when I get out of the water than some True Wild Hydrate. If you're already gonna drink water, you might as well double up. And I'm not even trying to advertise this. I do have a discount code so that I can dial you guys in with a better price on it, but I'm just trying to drop knowledge. This is what we're drinking. Huge shout out to Niso, honestly, for hooking that up as a sponsor, and down the neck we go. Not to mention the flavor is unbeatable. This is like coffee before claims, dude. It's true wild hydrate before any type of breakdowns. I didn't have to breathe. That wouldn't have stopped. All right, post-session breakdown. A lot of surfing today. We 100% got better at paddling. We got better at learning the spot. We, did we get the shot, Nice? Which one? Which one? <laughs> That's what we love to hear. Hopefully we got this shot. Look at this cleanup set. Oh, boys. We got out a little early. Look at that thing go. And, we learned a lot about surfing. Every time you're on a surfboard, you're getting better. And when you go out with the expectation, like I said this morning, just having fun, then you're gonna score every time. Tomorrow's a new day. I gotta shut it down though. With some love to some new patron supporters because I know the end of the month is coming up soon. Or I might be wrong, maybe it just came up. We got some fresh patron supporters that deserve the love. Meet Mike Salmon, sick name. Dennis the Menace, even sicker, and Andre. And then there are a couple of you guys who tag me if you got the merch. There are some limited merch items that you can only get through supporting on Patreon. And it's honestly to support me in these type of months when we're out here doing what we love and the views aren't as high and the ad money isn't as high and the sponsors aren't supporting as much. It means the absolute world. Niso thanks you too. We're keeping him fed. We're keeping T-Cap's gas tank full. We're keeping the stoke alive. And it's all done by you guys. So thank you guys so much. Everybody who supports on Patreon on and let's keep this night going here he kept claims he's gonna be kind of upset second board on this one trip that is taking water that he has smashed on his body I believe I'm trying to tell you though once you start charging it gets crazy your body starts getting annihilated and you start flying through boards Upset. <laughs> Small ding. That's crazy. Yeah, worth it? Worth it. Worth it. Uh, we got Ombre on the other side.
other side of the 